friends, it's been a while. It's been too long. Maybe not too long because we've all been busy. Summer months are actually busier than regular months during the year because at least for me, it's been camps, retreats, and we did some song producing. And I'm here now in Indiana. Of all places, I'm in Indiana training missionaries. I help run a program called the RC Mission Corps and we're doing a month long training before we send these guys out for their year long service as missionaries for the church and for the world. So it's been, it's been pretty crazy. But really what I wanted to share with all of you today is an experience I had from a few days ago where three of my brother legionaries were ordained to the priesthood. So as you see, it was very powerful. It was very moving. And when you see young men, 30 year olds, take that step after 12, 13 years of just preparing themselves for this moment and they finally get there and they do it, which happened to me two years ago. Same thing, you're just moved and like, why? <laughs> you ask yourself, why even do that? Like why even? take that step in this world that is tough in a world where an easy life and a lack of commitment is kind of the normal thing like to see young men do this and take that step it is very very powerful and so i actually interviewed them two days prior to the ordination two of them the two deacons deacon peter fagan and deacon thomas white and i just asked them questions and i asked them one very important question of why now why why even be a priest or continue on this path today which seems to contradict that and i'll just let him talk it's it's very powerful my name is peter thomas fagan the fourth uh, Peter Thomas Fergus Fagan the first came from Ireland. I'm the fourth. So my name's Brother Thomas White. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Why? Well, a lot of people might think that being a priest or a legionary nowadays is way out of style or it's the wrong thing to choose because it's in crisis or it's in trouble. And it's true. It is in trouble. Uh, not a lot of people want to be priests and everybody's looking all over for vocations. How do we get parishes to stop closing? Where do we find people to be priests? Who wants to do this? I, I feel that, but I, I react to it the opposite way. I think that it's the right time to be a priest and it's the best time to be a priest and the most exciting time to be a legionary. Because it's true, we are in crisis and we are in a hard time, but that means it's something important. And it's not something to give up on because God hasn't given up on it. And God is still calling men to be priests still calling men to be legionaries. He still wants to make a difference in the lives of the men and women of today. And it, something needs to be done. And if something's not done, there's gonna be disaster. So I'm excited to be a part of that. And that's why I think it's the best time and the most exciting time to be a priest and a legionary. Fundamentally, at the base of, of everything, it's, it comes down to because that's God's call for me. And I think that's important not to not to forget or not to take for granted. 
the fact that from the very beginning since I, I joined the Apostolic School when I was 12, I've always felt that this is what God wanted me to do with my life. And just kind of the conviction that if that's what God wanted me to do with my life, then there's nothing that I could invent or nothing that I could do that would make me more happy or more fulfilled than the plan that God had for me, right? Because if He created me for something, then that was what was going to fulfill me, not anything that I could do or anything I could invent for myself in my life. So all I would say to anyone who's considering a vocation is that there's nothing more fulfilling and nothing more fun than bringing God's love to people, to the men and women of today. Don't be afraid to give God a shot at your life, right? Because God's never going to hold that against you, right? Don't be afraid to, to seek something great, to seek to do something really transcendent with your life, to seek to, to really give yourself to others, to those around you, and and to, to do something amazing with your life, to do something that will make a lasting impact on people. Obviously, it's God who calls, and it's not we who make it happen. It's not just something we choose and something we want to do. But I testify that it is the most fulfilling and the most fun that you can have in this life. Let us pray for priests. Let us ask God. And let's pray for those priests that we know that we can still serve and be holy and persevere in this calling, which is not easy, which is not easy, but it's beautiful and it's powerful. It is a mystery, but it's powerful. It's very, very powerful. <laughs>